here, microphones everywhere. Uh, welcome to the eighth annual South Valley Junior High School sixth grade band festival. You'll notice lots of different microphones. I'm holding one in my hand so you can hear me. The one I'm talking to here is actually going directly to our live stream feed on YouTube. And the one on my left, your right, is for when we perform so we can hear the, the students play when we're on there as well. Uh, we have students everywhere. <laughs> we have high school students and sixth grade students and seventh grade and eighth grade and another room full of eighth grade students off to the side actually watching the live stream so that you have more places to sit. I apologize a little bit for the warmth in here, uh, but hopefully that warmth will also translate into warmth of good music and good cheer as well. So a uh, special welcome to our people on YouTube. This is a new thing for us. We've been doing Facebook. So hopefully we'll have people watching. If you are watching, Please chat in and tell us where you're watching from. We really like to watch later and see where relatives from out of state are, uh, are getting to watch our concerts. The main purpose of this, of course, is the stars behind me are sixth graders, our youngest performers. So we saved them for last. I got to work with them today at lunch. Or at lunch. I call it lunch because we ate pizza. But after school, I got to work with them. And we had a really, really good time. I think you're in for a wonderful performance tonight. But the main purpose to show all of these different groups is to show just how vibrant music is in Gilbert. And these types of performances are happening at all of our junior highs. Uh, no matter where the students are going to school. We have some fantastic directors in this district. We have so many kids involved in music, and I want to thank you for keeping your kids involved in that. Some other thank yous, I want to thank uh, Ms. Hadlin and our PE department for the use of basically their classroom and the wrestling room as well. So uh, the, we had wrestling after school today until 5.30. So our eighth graders that are in the wrestling room now are getting a special treat. And so we have doors open for a couple of reasons. One, so they can hear the performance, and the other one is so they can breathe. <laughs> I want to thank our parent volunteers. We had uh, about six or seven parents helping serve all the pizza so I could get electronics and things ready, and I really appreciate them volunteering their time to feed all the sixth graders behind me. Our eighth grade band council students who gave up their seats for some other parents, they're the ones who physically set up all the chairs and all the stands and helped to get everything ready for tonight. We have some administrators. I'm not sure who all is here tonight, but none of these band programs at any of the elementaries or here at South Valley or at Campo would be happening if we didn't have administration that was very supportive of what we do. So I'd like to thank Ms. Cox, Ms. Boomer, Ms. Carlson, Ms. Green, Ms. Henry, and I hope I'm saying Ms. Koberstein's name right. I don't know if it's Stein or Steen. Um, but I really appreciate the fact that you're supporting music at your schools. And here, Mr. Cannon, Mr. Schley, Ms. Nakamura, I. I I could spend the next half hour telling you how great they are, not just with music, but with everything we do here at South Valley. I'm very grateful for their support. Mr. Kozak, Mr. Mitchell, I know Mr. Kozak's here tonight, but there's two band directors over at Campo. Uh, we really appreciate every year you bringing your students to play for us at the junior high. Very much appreciate it, and you're in for a wonderful performance. Ms. Dector, Dr. Sanchez, and Mr. Seagraves for doing all the really hard work. He's back there running the live stream for getting everybody ready so I can wave the stick. One special applause for them, please, because they did the most work of this. All of you parents for putting up with squeaks and squawks until it became music. We appreciate that, paying for lessons if you're doing private lessons and making sure that practicing happens. And most of all, I want to thank all of the students behind me, all of the sixth graders who have come and, and gave up a large part of their afternoon, my own seventh and eighth graders for putting up with me being nervous and kind of a just a little bit uptight in the classroom the last couple of days. And for our my former students, most of you, and our high school students for giving up an evening of their time to being here. So thank you for our students in doing that. We had fantastic rehearsal. We're well fed. I'd ask you that you please turn off your cell phones unless you want to send a quick text to tell somebody to tune in to the South Valley Junior High School band web or uh, YouTube channel. Uh, turn other things that make noise off, small children, things like that, so that we can hear every note that they have done. And remember that applause is our payment. So when we are done with performance, please applaud loudly without whistling or yelling out people's names. So with that done, we're going to go ahead and get started. Our seventh graders over here used to be sixth graders. And if you remember, they sat here last year and played these songs. 
So now they get to go first this year and show you what they've accomplished in one year.
So those, those parents watching or that were here last year, I love being able to see the improvement, the enthusiasm of our sixth grade, and then the maturity of their sound once they become seventh graders in play. I do need to point out one thing. South Valley. Shh. South Valley, please. We are wearing something a little different tonight than we normally would wear. I'm going to explain that later. And I don't like to air our dirty laundry in public. However, we have a prominent member of our band who is not wearing the proper clothes tonight. Everybody was supposed to be wearing black dress shoes. And it seems that I left mine at home. <laughs> when I went to go change, they weren't in my car. So I'm, I have no doubt that I have some uh, band council students that are going to punish me later for my mistake. Pretty soon our counselors, I really don't like this thing, pretty soon our counselors are going to come visit the sixth graders. That is way too loud. And they're going to talk about the different electives that are offered here at South Valley. In seventh grade, the students get one elective, the one class only that they get to choose from. And it's not guaranteed. The classes will fill up. Classes like band and orchestra, we don't fill up. And there's no tryouts. So they're guaranteed. So all these students behind me in sixth grade, and that's the same for all of our junior high. So all of these students behind me in sixth grade, they want to be in the guaranteed to be in a band with their friends, have them sign up for band and continue to play. And in eighth grade, they'll get two electives. So those students that really want to try something new, in eighth grade, they can do band and try something new. So we really want to do our best to keep our students in the program. Band meets every single day at South Valley, and we only meet during the day. The only time we do something at night is if we have a concert. So we meet daily for an hour. Our students will have more time in band in the first semester, by Christmas, we have more time in band than in all of sixth grade put together, if you add up all the minutes. Our growth is exponential to have it every single day and to play our instruments every single day. I also want to invite you upcoming um, on Tuesday night, February 18th, is our parent expo. I really don't like this microphone. I'm so sorry. I keep hearing popping sounds. Is our parent expo where you'll get to see all that South Valley has to offer. So if you are a sixth grade parent, please come to that seventh grade expo night that we have. So our eighth grade, which should be coming in soon, because we've moved the few little chairs we have to move, okay, used to also be sixth grade too. So our eighth grade students that are coming in now is our eighth grade concert band. In seventh grade, we divide the class into two groups. All of our woodwinds meet together. So instead of in a lot of our elementary schools, they come to band based on class, Miss Jones class, Miss Smith's class. Here, all the flute players will be in the same class. All the clarinets will be in the same class. And then all of our brass and percussion will be in one class. And we put them together for a concert. And one thing I'm super proud of, the group that you just heard, that song, what you, the performance you just heard was the very first time they've played it together as a full group. They did that without a rehearsal. The woodwinds rehearsed together, the brass rehearsed together, and then tonight was the first time they've ever heard it as a full ensemble. 
So I'm really proud that nobody got lost. They stayed together. They sounded wonderful. In eighth grade, we also split the band into two, but not by instrument. We have an advanced ensemble called our symphonic band, and we have our regular eighth grade band called concert band. And sometimes we'll combine them both, like when we go to Disneyland here in a few months. So the first song we're going to play tonight, Vanguard Fanfare, is both our combined eighth grade bands, and then our seventh grade band will play after that. So when they get to eighth grade, both groups get to go to Disneyland and combine into one group. It's not just the advanced group that goes. All right, looks like we're just about ready to start.
I think it's pretty cool that they used to be sixth graders too. Why do you hear the high school? They used to be sixth graders even if they don't admit it. Learning music affects everything in life and it can be used for so many things just because of the way it makes your brain work. And to prove this, most people behind me over all the years that I've been teaching, this is 23 or 24 now, don't go on to become professional musicians. But they do go on to have music be a really important part of their life. And one story that I really like to tell, one little anecdote I like to tell, is that music is the number one undergraduate degree pursued for people wanting to become doctors. It's a weird thing, but if you don't believe me, the next time you have to go to the doctor, and hopefully you don't, or your dentist, ask them what instrument they used to play, and you're going to get an answer. I asked my dentist, he was a trombone player, that's probably why he's a dentist now. <laughs> or they might have sang in the choir, but music is a huge, huge thing there. I want to make sure I don't lose my spot. I'm getting old now. I keep having to look at stuff. In the addition to everything that music does for people to make their brain smarter and, and to make them better at other things, music for the sake of music is why I love it. Because it brings something to you, and especially as a performer, an experience that you can't get doing anything else. And so... All of these performances that you're going to hear tonight, when you hear that applause, the expression on their faces, the feelings they have inside, just even if you weren't even here, playing together and getting those sounds is a fantastic thing. Music for its own sake is important, as much as it is, is because it helps people with math and reading. Those things are great byproducts, but please don't forget that music is important because it's music. So we're going to go ahead and, and warm up our symphonic band. And then I'm going to ask you to please rise for our national anthem when we are finished. Our flag is on your right. Uh, my grandfather was a band teacher for over 50 years in Pennsylvania. When Pennsylvania required him to mandatory retire, he bought a trailer on the Pennsylvania-New Jersey border so he could continue to teach because New Jersey didn't have it. And when I became a band teacher, he made me promise him one thing. He said, always play the Star Spangled Banner at every concert. Whether you play it or somebody sings it or you just play it by yourself on the trumpet, always have it. So we will play the Star Spangled Banner for you. skip the warm-up. Please rise for our national anthem.
One of the things about South Valley, and any of our junior highs for that matter, is we not only do we offer so much opportunity for students, we want them involved in as much stuff as possible. So a lot of times, particularly if you haven't had, if this is your first child coming into junior high, you might be a little worried about and have questions about, can they continue some of these things they're interested in, these outside activities, and still be involved in band? And the answer is yes, even through high school. So tonight, we're wearing something a little bit different than we would normally wear our polo shirts. Tonight, I asked all of our students to wear something that represents what they do outside of school. I had several students wanted to wear five different shirts because they do so much stuff. So I'm going to read off a list that they gave me and have them stand as I call it. I'll go pretty quickly. Our seventh graders who are hearing me now but seeing this delayed in the other room, I'm not going to bring them back out, but if you notice, they were also wearing those too. So you can see just how many different things we have involved. So some of these people might be in the other room. Wrestling, Boy Scouts, tennis, baseball, chess, softball, martial arts of any kind, gymnastics, basketball, football, cross country, figure skating, swim, cheer. Hi, Stormy. I know you're in the other room. Volleyball, soccer, track and field, NJHS, student council, any horse or equine related activities. If you take private music lessons, our Sabercat color guard, any faith-based activities working at your church, web, our Dungeons and Dragons club, theater, 4-H, hockey, golf, choir, dance, arts and crafts, Metropolitan Youth Symphony, and if music is your thing after school, please stand up. That's pretty cool. So our last song that our symphonic band is going to play, before I turn it over, we've only had this song for about two weeks that we've really been working on it. It's called The Red Baron, and it's all about a big dogfight in the sky. So if you kind of imagine this movie playing, and it starts out in the beginning with this World War I ace heading to his plane, and then another one, and, another, and, and the uh, German one, and the Allied one, and they're both heading to get on their planes early in the morning, and then they'll be flying through the skies, and then our two trombones are going to play really loud tonight, and you, if you watch them on the end, they're going to be the dogfight. You'll hear the engines coming out of our trombone section. So here's the Red Baron. This features Tim Austin on the trumpet solo at the beginning. I just want to announce his name so he's less nervous. <laughs>
check, check. Does this work? Okay. Yeah? All right. Great. Hi. Uh, I just wanted to introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Matt Kozak. I am uh, the director of Vans at Campo Verde High School. And um, sitting over here to your left uh, is the Wind Ensemble, which is the, uh, the top performing ensemble at Campo Verde. Um, we have three concert bands uh, there now. Uh, this one is primarily uh, juniors and seniors, but there's uh, a handful of sophomores and a few really talented freshmen that auditioned into uh, that band. And then there's a symphonic band, uh, which has a little bit more freshmen and sophomores, a few juniors, and then uh, our concert band as well uh, is for is kind of the for the lower level for freshmen as well. So there's a lot of bands at Camp of Verde. It's taken several years to have enough students to do that, but it's it's uh, concerts like tonight that um, allow all of our students and all of the sixth graders behind me and all of the uh, seventh and eighth graders that perform to see what's coming uh, when they get to high school and what they're able to be a part of. Um, and we, uh, so we have three concert bands, two jazz bands, uh, full-size jazz bands, um, a, 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 a very successful marching band that we just won um, the, the Division, uh, Division 3A state championship this year with our marching band. So I want to give them a hand for that. The students are in that. Uh, we also have a competitive winter drum line and then two competitive color guards. So it's a very active program. Um, that's why there's another band director who couldn't be here tonight, um, but we kind of share the responsibilities at the high school because there's just so much to do. And as you can imagine, like all the extracurricular stuff on top of the class time uh, is just a lot. So the students have a lot to be a part of and they really enjoy all of that activity. Uh, so I, I really encourage you to, to, uh, to keep your students in music. Um, there's, as Mr. Bannon said, there's so many different reasons why they should participate in music. Um, every counselor I've ever talked to at high school has said that colleges are gonna look for students who are well-rounded and who can handle the rigors of college. And they would much rather have someone who is involved in several activities, music, sports, uh, academics, than someone who is only involved in, in academics or taking five AP classes versus maybe two or three AP classes with arts and sports as well. So I think it's really, really important to continue to, to cultivate a well-rounded uh, student as they get into high school. And I would encourage you to keep your students involved because there's so much, so many cool things coming for them. Uh, some of the opportunities that went ensemble a couple years ago uh, traveled to New York and performed in New York at Carnegie Hall, which was a, a like one of those things that I'll never forget uh, being on stage there. Uh, I never got to perform there, but I got to uh, got to conduct, which is probably just as cool, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. And uh, we, this last um, uh, Christmas break, uh, the marching band was invited and we traveled over to uh, London, participated in the London New Year's Day Parade, which is on YouTube if you want to check that out at some point. Um, we got a chance to, to march down the streets of, of London and uh, it was an amazing experience for those students as well. And since we've gotten back, it's amazing how many emails we get from other places saying, hey, it'd be really cool if you came and performed at our venue um, all over the world. So it's, it's a really, really cool thing uh, that these kids get great opportunities by staying involved in the arts. So I would just encourage you to, to, to keep, your, uh, keep your students involved. Um, one other thing uh, that I want to encourage you uh, uh, to do, uh, we talked about this today in the high school, is these students are very, very talented. Uh, they work really, really hard. We had 25 of our students that uh, made the regional honor band, uh, and they'll be compete, uh, sorry, performing with a bunch of other uh, uh, kids from other schools, other high schools, in a couple weeks. And, and they work really hard for that. But one of the things that we need to remember is to take our talents and help the, the younger students. So we started uh, this semester at um, Spectrum and Ashland Ranch and Quartz Hill um, a, a free tutoring program um, after school uh, for your music students if they want to come and get some instruction from our high school students um, on Mondays and Fridays. And, and you can check with your elementary teachers and I'm sh I think they've emailed out about it, but if, if you look into that, it's a great 
chance for them to get some extra help from a student who plays that instrument that is just simply there to help them learn things that they've learned along the way. So we want to be able to give back to the sixth graders and help them be more uh, successful uh, so that they just feel better about their musicianship. Because a lot of times the students that end up stop doing it is because they think they're not very good. And it's really not that. It's that they just haven't got the in information that they need. So I would encourage you to look into that because it's a great opportunity for your students. Uh, without further ado, I think percussion, are you guys about ready? Cool, I stalled just enough, that's great. Uh, we're gonna perform for you a piece uh, called Fate of the Gods. It's uh, a story of Ragnarok, and I'm not going to like go into all the details, but it's really cool, it talks, uh, you, you'll hear all of the stories and the, 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 the fighting and the, the duels that are going on within the music. Uh, I hope you enjoy this performance, uh, and, and these, these students are really excited to perform for you and to help your students as well. So thank you for having us here tonight.
South Valley eighth grade students, make sure that you can hear me. Campo students, I'm going to ask you to participate in this as well, if you remember from years past. Our stars of the show, our sixth grader, just getting ready. We're going to do a quick five note warm up and then we're going to play our two songs. But to prove how important these sixth graders are, I want to show you something else. We can't have you see into the wrestling room, but we could easily do it with our seventh graders as well. Eighth graders, if you remember being part of this sixth grade band or one at your other school, please stand up. Campo, after that incredible performance, by the way, you change a little when you get to high school in some of your reflections, but I don't, and I'm still incredibly proud of how you play, and that's not gonna change. If you remember playing in the sixth grade group when you were here, please stand up. So after hearing these performances, that's what they have to look forward to. And I'm hoping that no matter where the sixth graders end up in seventh grade next year, whether it's South Valley or whatever school they go to, please enroll them in music. Thank you guys very much for your performance and to my own students as well.
do that when you go back to your school. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, rock the house! <laughs> That was so cool. A lot of my students remember playing that song a few years ago and begged me to play it with them, but it was too short a notice. Otherwise, we would have had everybody playing that one. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for the people out on YouTube. Please let the students, for at least the South Valley ones, they all have a job to do to clear the gym because the sooner they do that, that leaves more room for ice cream. Thank you for coming. <laughs>